Hello, and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the fourth grade concept of input-output tables. This is standard 4.5b in the great state of Texas, and we're using item number 7 of the 2023 released star test. If you haven't done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. So we have a table here showing the relationship between the position of a number in a pattern and its value. All right, so we've got first, second, third, and fourth position, and then we have their value here. So which represents how to find the value? Well, let's take a look at what we have here. All right, so what do we have going on here? We've got each position, right? And you notice that as the positions go higher from one to two to three to four, the values also get higher. 1.5, 2.5, 3.5, 4.5. Okay. So what we're not going to do is we are not going to look at just from one to the other, right? We're not going to say, oh, 1.5 plus 2.5, that's a plus one. Because what we do is we have to look across the columns, right? So from position to value. So the first position is 1.5. Second position is 2.5. So what's the relationship between the value and the position? Well, let's see. How do we go from 1 to 1 1.5? Well, we can either multiply something, or we can add something. 1 plus something equals 1.5. Hmm, well, if we have to multiply something to get a 1.5, uh, it's going to end up being multiplying by a decimal, right? Not something we really worry about too much in the fourth grade. That's more of a fifth grade standard, because anything times itself is, you know, is itself. Anything times 1 is itself, so 1.5 times 1 would make 1.5. But I don't think that's going to continue down, but we'll see. 1 plus what makes 1.5? Okay, so it's not a full 1, because 1 plus 1 makes 2. So it's going to be less than 1, right? It's going to be 0 0.5. Think of it like money. If this is a dollar, and that's a dollar fifty, what am I going to need to add to get from a dollar to a dollar fifty? All right, 50 cents, or 0 0.5. All right, so I've got two different patterns here to get from my 1 to my 1.5, because remember, we're looking across the columns, right? Now, if your table happens to be like this, right, sometimes you might have a position and value like this, then you need to look up and down. You're always looking between the two different labels, whether they be side to side or up and down. Let's try this for this next one, right? 2 times 1.5 or 2 plus, and then I'm going to do that, 0 0.5. Let's see which, which one of those gets you to your 2.5. Well, like I said, we don't really know much about multiplying decimals here in the fourth grade, but we can think of it like money, right? 2 times 1.5 is like $1.50 times 2 or $1.50 plus $1.50. We know how to add decimals, right? So that's going to be $3. So that just gets us 3, and we don't want that. We want the 2.5. Whereas if I were to add, now, I, if I want to add vertically, I need to make sure I'm adding with my decimals lined up, right? You can always put a point zero after any whole number, and we're going to need to do that in order to line up our decimals there. If we add it up, okay, so that gets me to what I want, the 2.5. So it looks like I'm adding 5 tenths, that 0.5. Let's just see if that works here, right? So 3 plus 0 0.5, we can do that same thing. Make sure we add the point 0 to the 3 to get them lined up. Yep, that gets me my 3.5. And let's see if we can do the same thing with a 4. 4.0, add to the 0 0.5. Yes, that gets me my 3.5 and my 4.5 like I'm wanting. So I added 5 tenths. So my answer here is D.